All right, now we're getting to the fun stuff. So with dplyr, one of the strongest things you can do with it is to group. And so what does that mean? Well, in the prior video, I showed you how to summarize the data. But what if we wanted to summarize the data by groups? And what I mean by that is, let's take a look at our data here and see what can we do here. We have categories, right? And we have certain certain types of planes. What if we wanted to know the the average flight gain for a particular plane? Well we could do that by grouping the data. So to group the data what we want to do is we want to create a new data object which we will call by tail num. This is going to give us uh, a group by individual planes and now we want to use the group by function that's provided by dplyr. So let's pull up the group by help file. And we can take a look at what this does. So let's see. Most data operations are useful done on groups. So that's exactly what we're trying to do. And again, you can scroll down and, and see some examples. So for example, this one here just says group by provides that data set empty cars and then a particular group name. So what we're going to do is we're going to summarize the data table we have above. And we are going to group it by this column we have called tail num, which we see is right here. So now when I run this, what has it done? Well, it's created this new data object by tail num, and it looks identical to this, but underlying this, it has this group feature that's provided by dplyr. So now what we can do is we can see the differences by using the summarize function that we looked at in the last video. So let's write out a simple summarize for each of our two data sets. So we can summarize the data and we'll do what we'll do is we'll have the flight gain mean flight gain equals the mean of our flight gain column and remove the NA values and let's take a look Okay, so we got one row of our flight gain, and we have the sim value we saw before, 5.65. Now let's copy this and paste it down below. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change this data object to be referencing the by tail num data object instead. Okay, so let's run this and see what we get. All right, so that's awesome. So what we got is we, we got our mean flight gain but now it's calculating the mean by the actual plane. So we have individual tail numbers and what their average gain is for that particular plane. And what we could also do here is we could also assign this to an object as well. So we could say summary by plane. And when we run this, we'll actually create our, our summary table up here. So if we click into this, we'll see the summary that has had the group applied to it. So each plane, tail number, and then the, the mean flight gain for that tail number. So this is awesome. And we're going to be using this very often to group data, especially when we're doing plotting. So if you have a plot that you're interested in seeing the results by a group, we'll be applying this feature from dplyr to get those groups. So now we've covered the main features from dplyr. And in the next video, I'm going to be introducing one more thing that is provided by dplyr called chaining. And this is going to allow us to very cleanly apply all the things I've covered so far in a sequential way.